Are you looking to improve your arsenal of techniques in After Effects? Well, here are 10 of my favorite and useful effects that you can use in Adobe After Effects. The first effect I love using when I want to create, you know, essentially unlimited amount of particles of a single image is CC particle world. Very easy to create an endless particle loop. So with a black solid selected, I'll go to effect simulation and grab CC particle world. And you'll see we get a bunch of particles. Then I'll open the particle tab and set the line to a textured quad polygon. Open the texture tab and set it to our image that we want to have a million particles of. Okay, turn off the image and there it is but I'm not gonna leave you hanging here with these very mediocre settings. For example, I'll go to producer and increase the radius X and Y, and this will kind of spread it across our composition. You can increase the Z depth as well. Then let's go into the physics. Set the velocity to 0.25, gravity to 0.08, resistance to about one, and set the extra to zero. And then set the longevity up to 10. And just by adjusting a few simple settings, you can create an infinite stream of objects just by using CC Particle World. Want to make your motion graphic a little bit more interesting? Well, add camera shake. One of my favorite ways to do this is to go to effect, stylize, and grab a motion tile. And make sure you apply the motion tile effect to an adjustment layer above all your work. Then alt click the stopwatch for tile center and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma 50 or any number that you wish. And then check on mirror edges. And now we've added a little bit of character to our scene with some camera shake. Do you have too simple of an animation and you're looking for a quick way to spice it up? We can quickly use the fill effect to add a touch of animation detail in under about 30 seconds. What we want to do is take one of our animated graphics, go to effect, generate, and grab fill. You can set the color to whatever you wish and click OK. Then you can take the layer, duplicate it, offset it in your timeline by a couple of frames, change the color, duplicate one more time, and then set the color back to the original color by deleting the fill effect. And in no time at all, we've been able to add a touch of color to any animated graphic that you're working on. Anytime you import an image, video, or any graphic that has a black background and you need to remove it, you can change the blend mode to remove the black background, or if changing the blend mode is not an option, you need to get rid of the black background. You know, a lot of people might try to go to keying and try to do like an extract effect and, and attempt to use the extract effect to remove the black background, but you'll still have that black outline. A quick way to just take out black of any object is go to your effects and presets window and type in unmolt. And this will be just a preset. You can just apply it to your image video and it'll automatically remove the black background from anything that you apply it to. Here's how to turn any object into a stroke animation. And yes, this is a foolproof process. It'll work almost every single time. To do this, we go to effect, generate, and we grab a Vegas. But how this effect works, we go to the blend mode, set it to transparent right away. And then go to the midpoint opacity set to one, the end opacity to one. And you can change your width to make the line a bit thicker and we'll set our hardness all the way to max, which will be one as well. And now we got a really good stroke effect. And to animate this, all we need to do is add a keyframe for length, set that keyframe forward in time and set the length down to zero. You can also animate the rotation, which I find as an interesting touch. So now we can easily add a stroke animation to any object we apply to here in After Effects. So since we technically don't have any sponsors, before we dive deeper into this video, we want to let you know about our amazing Motion Duck extension packs designed specifically for After Effects and Premiere Pro users. With over 20,000 customizable templates, our Motion Duck extension packs make creating professional grade projects a breeze. Our extension allows you to browse, import, and edit templates right within your project. And to sweeten the deal, we have a 100 free template pack that you can download with the links in the description below. And if you do purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our YouTube channel. So so thank you very much. This next effect will allow you to turn anything to 3D just with one simple effect. And this effect is under simulation and is called shatter. You wouldn't think you could use shatter for a 3D effect, but this is how you do it. You set your view to rendered. You open up the shape tab and you set it to custom. You set your shatter map to the layer that you apply the shatter effect to, so it's to be shape four. You then open up the force one and two tabs. You set the depth to zero, the radius to zero, and the strength to zero on both of the forces. Then you open the physics tab. We set our rotation speed to zero, our mass variance to zero, our gravity to zero, and the gravity direction to zero as well. Then you open the textures tab, and we come here to our front layer, set it to the shape layer that we're using, and then go to the side layer and set it to the same exact shape that you apply the shutter effect to. Then set the side mode to color. And we'll come here to camera position and we can adjust the X, Y, and Z rotation and you'll see, and now our shape is 3D. We can go to shape and we can adjust extrusion depth to maybe 1.5. And then you come here to the texture again and set the color to any color you wish. And now effectively we have a 3D shape here inside of After Effects. 
Find edges can be a really creative effect for your videos. Say you're working on a music video or you just need something that looks cool. So go to effect, stylize, and grab fine edges. You can check on invert or not check, it's up to you. And then we'll add a few other effects here to really make this pop. So we'll go to effect color correction at levels. So I'm kind of cheating here with the additional effects, but all we want to do with levels is increase the contrast by a little bit. Move these points around until you really highlight the edges of everything in your scene. And then you go to effect, stylize, and grab glow. We'll set our glow radius to about 65. And the glow intensity to about 2. We'll, we'll duplicate the glow effect. And this time around, set the glow radius about 120. And lastly, you go to effect, generate, and grab a four color gradient. Set your blend mode to the four color gradient to a soft light, and you can change the colors to whatever you want, and you'll have a really interesting color effect applied to your footage really quick. One of the nicest ways to add a natural rack focus effect to your videos or on your motion graphics is by using the camera lens blur effect. Just go to effect, blur and sharpen, grab camera lens blur. So all you need to do is set the blur radius up to a high number. So I'll use like 60. Then you got a keyframe for blur radius, move forward in time and set the blur radius down to zero. And now we have a very natural rack focus effect just by using the camera lens blur effect. So this next effect is quite debatable whether it's an effect or not because we're simply gonna be using the brush tool to do a live recording to create any brush animation that you want. In order to apply this effect, all you need to do is select your solid layer inside your composition, come here to the top and grab the brush tool. Here we can change our brush settings. So what I like to do is just grab a solid brush here, make sure the hardness is set to 100%, then go to paint. You go to window paint if you don't see it. Go to duration, make sure it's set to right on. And all you're gonna do is double click your solid layer and we'll come here and draw any shape that we want. And now we'll have an animation that's been live recorded like this. And of course, it looks like a two-year-old did it. If you think this is bad, you should see my handwriting. It's much worse than this. But what we can do is check on paint on transparent. And as you can see, yes, it kind of is an effect, but we can have a heated debate in the comments below. <laughs> All right, so what you can do is just read just where you want this to be. And then you can hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And you'll see that we have two keyframes here. You're welcome to... Uh, adjust the animation. You can hit make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9, go to the graph editor, and do what you wish with those keyframes. And now we have a live recorded brush animation like this. This last effect will add a nice touch of texture and grunge to any layer that you apply it to. And this effect is under effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab rough and edges. And it's a very simple effect. You need to kind of adjust it depending on what you're using. But for example, I can come here to complexity, set it up to five, and I can increase the border and it deteriorates the quality of the graphic and makes it somewhat unique. I can also animate the evolution to give it a little bit more character. A pretty unique touch if you're looking to make your graphics gritty. So I hope you found some of these effects useful for your future projects. Remember, you can download a free 100 template pack for After Effects with the link in the description below. And if you're new to our channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creating.